finish with series in YouTube tutorials. Today we're doing Newton Robson uh, in MATLAB. There's our form. Our new term is our old term minus the f of the old term over f dash or f prime of the old term or the derivative of the old term. And we're going to do it for that lad. And we're going to keep iterating until the change is less than 1 million, 1 e to the minus 6. So if you're new to this, e to the minus 6 is 1 by 10 to the minus 6, which is 0.3 notes, not not 1. And the decimal place is there. Okay. There's our function. There's the differentiation of our function. The f of 1, in other words, when we bang in 1 into x cubed minus x minus 1 and uh, we get minus 1 and we when we bang in 2 into x cubed minus x minus 1 we get 5 so we know the root is somewhere between 1 and 2 okay probably more near 1 than 2 but anyways but we're just going to make our initial guess of one and a half that's halfway and what is the value of one and a half we bang that in, one and a half cubed minus one and a half minus one is 0.875. Now remember we're looking for the f of n is zero. Our approximation for x1, if I just scroll up, slow down here now. Our approximation is, my new term is my old term, that's the 1.5 minus the f of the old term, remember, 0.875, over f dash. So that would be, we put in, uh, um, we put in 1.5 into 3x squared minus 1. We get 5.75, so 1.5 minus 0.875, which we got there. And 5.75 we got from putting in 1.5 into 3x squared minus 1 we get, mouse is gone, oh, mouse is back up again, so we get 1.5 minus 0.875 divided by 5.75, which is 1.347826, etc. So we've gone from 1.5 to um, 1.347826. So we repeat those calculations again. I repeated them there. I'm not going to do them, you know, by hand. You are on screen, and you can see then that the delta is dropping. So and you see around there when we get to the delta there, uh, we're going to stop. So we're going to stop after iteration four. Okay. Have the code there, and I also published it. So let's just look at the publish bit. So line we clear the workspace we closed all the figures we cleared the command window and we are getting the root of x cubed minus x minus one and i just put in some comments here about the differentiation function Our initial guess is one and a half and the number of iterations is zero and I put in an enormously large delta of 100 just so as to get the while loop going. So our while loop is there. And we keep looping while the delta is greater than 1 e to the minus 6. Okay, so we keep going while the difference between successive terms is bigger than 1 e to the minus 6. Criticize myself here. I did the where the cursor is there, I did Y, and then I did Y, and I did that in my head. By rights, I could have used a symbolic math toolbox to do the differentiation, but I'm trying to keep this as simple as I can. So, there's Y, there's DY. My new X here is my old X minus Y over delta Y. And my delta is... Uh, the abs, what is the abs? The absolute value of x minus new, new x. So I'm getting the absolute value because why do I need the absolute value? The Because I need to make the changes positive. 
because I'm, my delta here is why my positive change is greater than 1 e to the minus 6. So I get my, uh, um, I've got my new x there. Here my x equals my new x and I've bumped up uh, the number of iterations by 1. I loop around again. I suppose I put a, could have put y and delta y outside the loop, but we leave that alone for the moment. And my new x, my new x equals my old x minus y over delta y. And what goes in for there? Well, remember we, the, we put in the term we got in the previous one into x uh, there and into x there. We keep looping until the ch change is less. So we scroll down here. And we get the delta on the first one, as we saw by hand, is 0 0.152. The delta on the second is 0 0.022. The delta on the three is 0 0.004. And then on the last one, the delta is uh, beyond 1e e to the minus 6, or it's less than, I should say, whichever you want to look at, of 1e e to the minus 6. Hope that helps a little. Thanks very much for listening, and any feedback would be appreciated. Bye.